Those things will kill you. Consider quitting. Ah, you sound like my daughter. Here, you're welcome. It's information on Harleen Quinzel from Sealed Records we dug up at the coroner's office. The coroner's office? Harleen Quinzel's father committed suicide after decades of struggling with mental illness. Yeah, tough story. Quinzel was a devoted, successful doctor. But she couldn't save him. Must have been hard on her. The trauma of her father's death caused her breakdown. Turned her into the monster she is today. Now, I know what she's done, but I can't help but feel a little sorry for her. It's gotta be rough on a person, going through all that. Yeah. The loss of a loved one can do that. I'd have to imagine it would. Oh, Lord. Gordon, you're dismissed. This is still my goddamn station house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right now. You only remind me every other minute. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. You're both behaving like children. Watch your tone, Batman. Let's get everyone upset. Or what? You'll put him on timeout? I've been lenient with you so far, but don't push me. She's got some kind of leverage on you, doesn't she? If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. I'll appeal to the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. I'll do whatever I can to help you. Uh. She knows who I am, Jim. Oh yeah? Well, so do I. You're Batman. That's all you ever have to be. That's all Gotham needs you to be. And you, if you're threatening to take that away, you should be ashamed of yourself. He's... I don't want to hear it. That's awesome, Gordon. Man. Just supposed to come to Gotham, put the chains on Riddler and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying this city gets under your skin. Fast. Know what I mean? This laid plans and all that. I do know. This city has made me who I am. So I've heard. I just wish Gotham produced more Batmans and less Riddlers. Make my job a whole lot easier. I guess you locals see it differently. Agent of Esther. She fought to get on this assignment, you know? Wanted to see her old neighborhood. Wanted to see you. Her hometown hero. She wanted to impress you. She admires what you do for the people of this city. Your respect is important to her. She certainly succeeded on that front. She's one of my best. Still, wanting to impress you, it's the same thing that made her move too fast on Riddler. Now there's a lesson learned. So, Wayne Enterprises. Ah, hell. Heard you made some new friends. You're having me followed. Thanks to you, these very bad people have an EMP and a key that'll open every lock I would want to keep bolted shut. They're clearly planning something. Mistakes are too high to leave anything to chance. You know, I actually considered asking you to infiltrate Riddler's gang. Before everything blew up, I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. You're good at this. Seems like you've already won Harley Quinn's trust. What you saw was just a test. An operation like theirs requires someone with your resources. As long as you don't blow it, they're gonna want to keep Bruce Wayne around until they take him for all they can. Get them away from their base of operations. Somewhere, they'll be exposed. When they're all together, out in the open, contact me. I'll be standing by, ready to ambush. We'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Sound good? They'll never know what hit them. Hmm. You need to involve Gordon. Don't tell me how to run my operation. His people know this city better than anyone. And they have their hands filled with other priorities right now. Batman. 
If it gets bad for you, just remember. We're out here. When you're in deep like this, you need friends. Let's say everything goes pear-shaped, and you get stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. Because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you're not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations go down. I created Batman to strike fear into criminals, not become one. Batman's not the one rubbing shoulders with him at the moment. You should think about which one Gotham really needs right now. Al, I'm in. Nice. Just don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. Just long enough to figure out their plans. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe. And we haven't even seen Mr. Freeze yet. That's the scary thing about it. Alright. Here we go. All right. Gonna take him to the party spot. Now I've seen all of these awesome visuals. I want to see how they do freeze. Old five points. Hey now! Welcome to our little hideaway and home away from home. The end of the line. We're happy to have you. Thanks, John. You said you'd kill him after you got what you needed. So what? Ain't a girl allowed to change her mind? Could someone get me out of these handcuffs, please? Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. Um... What I have is influence, and that is worth a lot. <laughs> Spoken like a man who has never had to do hard work. <laughs> who the hell wants to do hard work? <sighs> I bring us back the transport and the arms we require. You, you bring back a worthless aristocrat. We don't need his money. We have what we need to finish this. Thanks to me. He ain't worthless, you overgrown bicep. He already got us an EMP device and the failing ski. I'll betcha I can find a use for him. I do not care how much these two swoon over you, Wayne. We don't want you here, and we don't need you here. Ah! Whoopsie. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> no! Can you do something about this? It's freeze. Freeze is coming. What have you done? That's terrifying. You need to uncuff me. Don't screw this up. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop, or I will seal you both in ice. Easy. I swear. If you don't get that electricity back on immediately, I'll send you to a frozen hell. Okay. We'll turn off all the things. We can do it. We're Batman. Oh, there's a guide. I see, I see, I see. Right there. First schematic matched. Turn that one green. It's right up there at the top. Match the remaining schematics. Good thing we're not under a time limit or anything. That would be bad. Well, at least we know that it works. I must check on Nora. See how she is. You may have impressed these two, but I haven't made up my mind about crushing your skull. Fair enough. Everyone back to work. There's still a lot to get done. <laughs> <laughs> 
Who put you in charge? Somebody has to give the orders. What are they doing with that guy? <laughs> Thanks, John. That was a nice job before. Come on up to my office. And this isn't going to end horribly. Does she have her hyenas, though? Listen, Bruce. I just want to clear the air a little. You distanced yourself from us back at your office. I don't blame you after all the trouble I caused. You probably noticed I like to stir things up. It's a bad habit. And, well, it's made me more enemies than friends. I want to say I'm sorry for messing with your people. Your employees. I know they probably mean a lot to you. Fair enough. Thank you, Harley. Your apology means a lot. Really? You probably think I'm a terrible person, but I want you to understand. You seen these animals I work with? In my business, you let your guard down for a second, you get torn to shreds. I can only imagine. If I'm always pushing buttons, it's to keep people off balance, you know? Keep them guessing my next move. Keep the real me hidden. I hope you ain't gonna judge me for it. To be honest, I've been at it so long I don't even notice I'm doing it. It's just a part of who I am. We all wear masks, Harley. You don't have to be a criminal for that. Even you? You ain't like these others. Bane's a powder keg, Freeze. <laughs> well, you saw Freeze. John's sweet, and believe me, he's got heaps of potential. But he's still a growing boy. You, though? You got your head screwed on right. You're reasonable. I can work with reasonable. We're pulling a job tonight. I want you to be a part of it. You already showed you know how to use that EMP better than any of these other clowns. I want you to come with. A job? Sounds intriguing. What's the target? I like you, Brucey, but I never give up all my secrets on a first date. It's need to know, and you don't need to know. All will be revealed eventually. Using that EMP, though, that's gonna make tonight's job a whole lot less messy. And that no-neck asshat Bane, he loves making a mess. <laughs> People getting killed just makes his day. If you're gonna come with, you gotta convince the others. Convince them? It's a real pain in the ass sometimes, but you need a majority opinion for anything big. And bringing you along, well, you got some persuading to do. Let me know how I can help. Oh, no, 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 no. We are not bringing up the father. So what's the deal with Freeze? He's... Unique. You mean why he's blue and wrapped up in machinery? Accident in the lab. Here's the thing about Freeze. Only thing he gives two hoots about is his wife. He gave up everything to try and save her when she got sick. And I mean everything. Job, health, soul, the whole shebang. She's dead? Frozen stiff. Keeps her on ice in the next room while he searches for a cure. Ain't that just kooky? I mean, it explains why he flipped when the EMP went off. But seriously, who does that? Uh, I don't know. Sounds pretty romantic to me. Bruce, you big softy. I suppose you could see it that way. It's just made him into such an angry person. You know, that's tearing him up inside. Talking about his wife is the only way to get Freeze to pay attention to you. But watch yourself. His attention ain't always a good thing. I get the feeling Bane doesn't like me very much. That knucklehead respects strength and loyalty. Show him you got those, and he'll come around. He's a man's man. I don't got much time for all that burly machismo, but sit him down for a beer or something. He'll hear what you gotta say. He may kill you when you're done, but at least he'll listen. 
Leave office. Yeah, we're not bringing up the father. I'll go talk to the others. See what I can do to change their minds. I've got faith in you, handsome. So that that was um dangerous. Very, very dangerous. What a motley little crew we got. Well, let's head down and talk to uh, Victor. He's probably the more reasonable of the two. Also, in some ways, a lot more deadly, but we'll have to take the good with the bad. I'd have to see him fully armored up to really say anything about his design. Ooh, wait up, up, up. No, 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 no. We're not getting our steps in right now, Bruce. We wanted to see what the map of Gotham has to say. What are they planning to do? I don't have time to sort through all this. Not with them watching me. I heard about your wife, and I... Hear me out. I might be able to help. What do you mean? You'll answer me if you're smart and understand the concept of self-preservation. What you're doing? Well, that kind of love is rare. My wife followed your goings-on in the society columns, Wayne. You are more familiar with lust than love. That's how I know how precious that kind of love is. So he has what a. If you get caught, send to prison. What happens to your wife then? What do you propose? Huh. <sighs> I own technology companies, Victor. Big ones. You could house and protect her, continue your research to cure her. Why? Why would you do this? Oh, I'm not doing it for nothing. I expect a full return on my investment. <laughs> Practical. I respect that. I'll talk to Bane. Make sure he thinks you're on the level. You have my word. I may have misjudged you. Any tips on handling Bane? I don't know. Go talk to him. It's kind of Good a luck. a minimalist freeze, which is okay. What would Harley need with an EMP? I can't risk tampering with it. I like the fact that he has just the one gauntlet. But I'm really glad I had the quick reaction time. Alrighty, and there's, uh... Lorna. EMP shielding. This material will keep whatever it's insulating from being affected by the EMP blast. <laughs> what the hell do you want? Bane doesn't want us talking to him. Get out of here. Radio, man. Radio. Huh. Machismo. Ah, Bane. I'm wanting to look at the... There we go. And now I see where Bane gets his fashion sense. <laughs> Lucha! From El Santo and friends. Okay, Biggin, let's chat. I was hoping to get another chance to speak with you. Thirsty work. My throat is dry. Fetch, Wayne. Mexican beer, huh? Can we talk to him again? Bang. A word. Nope. I was about to say, I was like, hey, you come to with me together and we'll go get a drink. But I guess it doesn't work out that way. 
So if I was... John's house... Oh, he has his own little scene. 